Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our all-time Premier League tournament. So today we have the last game of round one. I can't believe it, but time flies and having fun. Also the halfway mark in the tournament in probably arguably the best match of round one. Because today we'll see the second seed of Arsenal, second best team in the tournament seed-wise, playing the seventh seed of Man City. But Man City have one of the best squads in this tournament. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to look right at these squads. So here we have the Man City squad, so we got Sergio Aguero and Carlos Tevez up front, Samir Nasri behind them, then we got Yaya Torre, legendary Man City in Ivorian midfielder, and then Kevin De Bruyne, potentially the best midfielder in the world, and come on, it would be criminal to have an all-time City squad without David Silva. So then we got Zabaleta, the current West Ham man, still wearing light blue. Then we got flashback Vincent Company, the current player manager under Lechit, Amaric Laporte, and then Ben Mendy at left back. Ederson in between the posts today. Bernardo Silva, Raheem Sterling, Fernandinho, Sané on the bench, complete with Gundwogan, quite a veteran himself, with Joe Hart in the current Rome man, Aiden Dezeko. Then we got Claudio Bravo and John Stones in the reserve. So here it is, the all-time Man City squad. That will come out to an 89 attack, a 91 mid, and an 88 defense. So not the strongest defense compared, but compared to the mid, but really strong mid. On to Arsenal, another very strong team. A 95 rated Thierry Henry paired up with a 90 Ian Wright to lead the attack. We've got Dennis Bergkamp, Prime Ozil, and then icon Patrick Vieira with Cesc Fabregas holding it down for the Gunners. Then not as strong a defense, so kind of really similar squad to City, with Sagna and Yaya, not Yaya Torre, Colo Torre. So we will see a clash between brothers, and then Sol Campbell and Vermeulen, if I'm pronouncing that right, and Lehmann in between the posts. So we got Aubameyang and Ramsey, current Juventus man, Alexis Sanchez, who did play really good football at Arsenal before kind of simmering out at United, Lucas Podolski, legendary, Laurent Koscielny, who had a slightly disrespectful exit from Arsenal, then Theo Walcott and Wojciech Szczesny with Lacazette, Giroud, Freddie Lundberg, the interim manager for some part of this year, then we got Jovino if I can find him, then Swiss Granite Xhaka, who didn't really have a card that high, I was surprised, and then Per Mertzacker in the reserve. A 90 attack and 91 mid, but an 86 defense. That's not bad at all, but compared to the rest of the team, I don't know. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with Arsenal for this one. I mean, both the defenses are somewhat weak compared to the rest of the squad, but I just think the Arsenal... I feel like, well, Arsenal do have a stronger attack. I think Thierry Henry is going to be unstoppable. I feel like... I'm not trying to discredit Aguero and Tevez, but I feel like, I don't know, I just think Arsenal's striking in midfield is kind of more consistent, but then again, they have a weaker defense in City, so it honestly could be either way. I just think Arsenal. So here we are, it's a sunny day in North London as City take on Arsenal here. Like I said, I, th I am backing Arsenal, I mean, they're at home too, higher seed, home field advantage, but again, I will not be surprised whatsoever if it goes either way here. Here we are, Ian Wright lays it off to Henri as the game starts here at the Emirates Stadium in North London. But also cutting it back. Arsenal really keeps possession. Dennis Bergkamp in the box. Dennis Bergkamp still fit the shot and Ederson getting it. Honestly, I think as of right now, I think this could change a lot. It's only the 10th minute. But I think Arsenal are playing the better football, but again, it's the 10th minute because Arsenal kind of keep the ball better, they kind of create more chances. I just feel like City are kind of losing the ball more, but then again, it's a tough Tesco Fabregas. Ooh, Ozil with the cutback, lots of skill there. To Dennis Bergkamp in the box. Bergkamp! Oh, and there it is. Arsenal opened the scoring in the 18th minute. I was expecting it to be much closer, but Arsenal got the goal, and that's what I did predict. So here we are, Arsenal. Scoring reasonably early, 20th minute as Bergkamp just lasers it into the corner. Here we can see they kind of just held the ball in their own part of the half. This from talk about keeping possession. No one was on him. Defense shipped it to Ozil, and this is what I mean. The strongest attacks are the weakest defenses, so 
two very similar teams up against each other. I think this game would kind of lose its kind of touch to it if it was any other two teams in this tournament. So that's also something to keep an eye out for in the next round because the winner of this plays, they play Chelsea. So they're used to kind of getting by, not weak defense, because I mean, they do have company, but weaker compared to the rest of the team. But can this Arsenal team deal with the likes of John Terry? and Ashley Cole in defense, if, if that's if they are to win. Ozil, room to run. Will he send in a cross? Kind of getting corn here. The bird came over. Oh, Ederson got in Ian Wright on empty net. 2 nothing to Arsenal. Two goal advantage in the 26th minute. I was not expecting this at all. I mean, I wasn't... I know I predicted Arsenal, but I thought it would be a much closer game. They were playing... They're playing the really dominant football. And that's just not what I was expecting from this game. And could City be going home? I mean, I guess Premier League historically wise, it would be right for them to get knocked out in the first round. Arsenal had such a rich history, just not great current days. So let's kind of turn. But before Ederson can even get up, so see so Ian Wright will add to Arsenal's advantage here. Davis to David Silva, surely. Oh, what a volley! It's not over yet. <laughs> Three goals already in the first half as David Silva. The Man City veteran knocks it past. So yeah, here you can see it. Arsenal defense. Not really much they can do about it. What a ball. Kind of a gap there. As David Silva just blasts it past Lehmann. Flicked over the entire Arsenal defense. There it is. So 2-1. Game on. Like I said, David Silva... In his Man City squad, not out of it yet, 40th minute, so halftime will be approaching. Arsenal will like to have an advantage at home going into halftime, but you never know. Vieira looking to put Arsenal's advantage higher. Vieira still with it. Oh, so close. Looks like Bergkamp and Wright are ahead as Henri chooses to dribble it. Ooh, what a backfield to Ozil. Wright and Edison. Oh. Just trying to rifle it past him, right in between him and the post, but not enough space for the English striker. He kind of had some options, but it looked like they were being covered. So Arsenal are very skillful and all, I've been saying that, but I think some of their players are being a little selfish. It's take, taking a little too long to pass. So Ozil lays it off to Bergkamp. Bergkamp dribbling himself, not into a hole as he lays off to Vieira. Oh, that one in. So Arsenal taking lots of shots, and... The halftime whistle will toll. So here we go, so 2-1. to one. Arsenal's 7 shots to Man City's 1. That's kind of sums up how the game has been going. 5 shots on target for Arsenal, so it could be a matter of time until they get some more. And then possession is pretty even. Arsenal, more tackles. That's kind of interesting. You'd expect City to if Arsenal have been if having more chances. I mean, I know they scored more, but if they also had 3 missed shots on target. But yeah, pretty... I mean... I don't think the game's over. I don't think it's one for Arsenal yet, and I don't think it's over for City. If Arsenal put another one in, like, 15, 20 minutes time, then maybe they'll put it away. Like, obviously. But, I don't know. I think... I'm, I'm not counting any team out. And David Silva, who did put City... Who did score for City, will be making way for Ilk Gundogan, the German international. The thing I have noticed about Arsenal, like I said, they're kind of being a little selfish and not passing, but sometimes they do pass in the last minute and it does work. So not always, it doesn't always work, I'm not saying like that's a good tactic, but um, I mean, are they getting lucky if they advance, could that not work? Ooh, as Wright has it, surely that's it, surely that's the game. 58th minute, Ian Wright with, with another actually second goal, as it's 3-1 to to Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal fans, this team's actually scored for once. First time I've seen that in years. Look at that. He had some defenders on him. He got to a pretty tight angle, but he just blasted it past him. So Ian Wright scores a second of the match. Bergkamp scored the first, then Wright with two. Bergkamp, in an abundance of space. Could Arsenal get a fourth? Ooh, looks like he played it right in front of our goal. Little header fired back at Edison, but the Brazilians reflect his arm point. It's all right. Over. Looks like Arsenal are struggling from these long balls. 
Carlos Tevez playing it back to Yaya Torre. Very unselfish of him. Aguero to De Bruyne. Oh, and that just missed by the Belgian. Will be more substitutions. It looks like Ramsey coming on for Ozil. Koscielny coming on for Vermeulen. And Carlos Tevez will be making way for Aiden Dzeko. What a ball! Oh, what a goal that would have been! Amazing ball from Yaya Torre to Dzeko. Look at that angle. Oh, it is sticking out his left peg. Lehmann Dove, he didn't have to. It was blasted against the side netting, but what a goal that would have been. To maybe put City back in the game, but could it be over? Looks like that's Ramsey with it. Ramsey and Henri. Could Arsenal put the game away again? Ooh, oh. Just pushed out towards... Really, really risky pushing towards your own goalkeeper, but Edison will collect it, denying Ramsey of a goal. Which would have been really similar to that Champions League goal he scored earlier this season. He kicked it over the line after they thought Ronaldo already had. Very Sagna. Bakari Sagna. Oh! Yes, why the post has Bakari Sagna. Right back up there trying trying to push it by Ederson, but unsuccessful in the end. On replaying it back to Ramsey. Oh, we could have had another close chance. That's Ramsey kind of being denied two close chances. One by defending, the other by goalkeeping. Looks like we'll say to you possessioning in this game. Looks like Arsenal will run time out, or they are going for another attack. Arsenal have always been on the attack. They never really pass it around this game. Got to hand it to them. Very hard-working group of players. Kari Sagna to Fabregas will head it back to him. Aubameyang could have played it up, but chose to play it back to Colo Torre, who looks like he will be the victorious Torre. Three tolls from the referee's whistle, as the FIFA commentators would say, and here we are. Arsenal have booked their place in all London semi-finals. Unai Emery shakes hands with Pep Guardiola. So yeah, so one semi-final will be Man United versus Spurs, and the other will be Arsenal versus Chelsea. So we got a London Derby in one. So very interesting game. Here we are with our match awards following today's match. Second seed Arsenal versus seventh seed Man City. So Ian Wright coming in with Man of the Match after his two goals with a 9.1 match rating for the Englishman. Top scorer list, Dio Costa remains at the top, but here he is, our Man of the Match, coming in at top three with two goals, Ian Wright. He only reason Drogba is higher than him is because Drogba did get an assist and Wright did not. So then looking down the list, it's the same. We got Bergkamp there right behind Vinistroy, then David Silva. Then, it, of course, we got Hazard, Gerard, Lineker, De Jong, and Paul Scholes from the first match. Moving on to our tracking of the Golden Ball, our assist list, Drogba and Hazard, still the only players to assist and score, followed by Ozil and Fabregas from today's encounter with Carlos Tevez, and then Frank Lampard, Ashley Cole, Conte, Essien, Kane, and Ronaldo. Then trailed by three players from the first match of our tournament, George Best, Nemanja Vidic, and we can't forget about Alan Shearer. So that concludes our first round. Can't believe it, the tournament's already halfway over. And the next video out on Monday, that's going to be our first semi-final. It's going to be same format, single elimination, winner moves on, loser goes home, and that of course will be Man United who beat Newcastle 3-1 to up against Spurs who beat Liverpool on penalties there last time out. Then of course the other side of the bracket, Chelsea from the video earlier this week, and then the winner of this game of course which is Arsenal. So that's the video, hope you guys enjoyed, be sure to tell your friends, been saying this a lot, and yeah, see you next time.